money, I need more. Give them a show, killing you knows and taking your bro. We just wanna get lit. Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football and Big D, as their guys will do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Here's Lance to throw it. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And the result here, a pickup of eight, leaves him with two to go on second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Rolling to his left. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. On first and ten, here's Lance. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Right back to Mitchell on second down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To throw, it's Lance. Caught on the slant. Touchdown! George Kittle from six yards away. And the Niners have taken the early lead. Gold with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. At their own 18 yard line. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And some room to maneuver. And I think the ball's out. And this is going to get out of bounds through the end zone. And that will go as a turnover as the defense will get it at the 20-yard line. The 
49er offense set to get this drive underway. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, kicking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. He'll get this complete to Charlie Werner. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Off of play action, here's Lance. Dancing to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And they'll go for it. Lance. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. Prescott looks to throw on first. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. <laughs> After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. <laughs> on second down now, it's Elliott. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Here's Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dalton Schultz. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert. And along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Niners take over a first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, it caused, it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Now Lance. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They do go for it. Lance. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Well, they picked up the first down, but I'm just going to say it. I didn't like it before the ball was snapped, <laughs> and I don't like it now that they picked it up. Think about field position on their own side of the 50. They don't get it. They put their defense in a bad spot. 
and it's just not a decision that pays off very often. Well, it wasn't fourth and a yard. There was, there was some meat on that bone. There really was. Fortunate to get it in that situation, but not a call I would make very often. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Throwing now is Lance. Throw left side is complete on a diving effort. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Two minutes even in what's been a tight first half. 8-7, our score. Lance and company going on fourth down. Gets this one to use check. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. While well, you admire anyone trying to pick up an additional couple of yards, they're just not worth it when you take shots like that. Quarterbacks have to stay in the game and stay on the field. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try to run this one in, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Elijah Mitchell taking it in from a yard out. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. They'll try and throw for it. And all it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Parsons. And the Cowboys will take over possession here up at the 44. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there. But that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when getting the opportunity. And some room to work. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there just before halftime. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be a second down. Brings up second and three. Throwing. Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. My next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by the former first rider, Jimmy Ward. And now off to the races, down the right side, and into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. They were in a very good position to come up with a go-ahead score there, a really good drive. Instead, it turns into six points going the other way. Psychologically, I don't know what that's going to do to them. So as a coach, you're looking at that as at least a 10-point swing, right? Because they had the field goal in their back pocket. They certainly did, and you're right. At least a 10-point swing, maybe more. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And it's intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington, where we rejoin Brandon and Charles. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. Pollard to return from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Prescott to throw it. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 45 on second down, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Touchdown! Dalton Schultz, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. 
So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. They'll look to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And his carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. On first down. It's Mitchell finding some room at midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. 81 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. On first down, Lance toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Now a give right side, Mitchell. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 38. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside, nice steady gain. They'll keep it on the ground. Mitchell, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Now a handoff here to his running back. Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. The last run got six, now second and four. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Working with a second and four. And to give this time to the tailback. Just a yard of the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And Lance now to throw. He'll dump that one off to Mitchell. 
And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it third down. Here's Lance to throw it. And it's caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Mitchell will score. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was...